think it is somewhere near little kitty. The most venomous snake in the world. Really? Yes, in today's episode, let's go on a down under safari to meet the infamous snake we call the inland taipan. Zoom in. In the dry landscapes of Australia's Queensland, under the scorching heat of the sun lie hollow holes of deep, cracking clays from which emerges an infamous serpent with a strikingly gleaming black head and a sandy brown scaly body. This creature may initially seem modest, however, do not be tricked by its appearance as this is no ordinary snake but is hailed as the most venomous snake on the planet. The Inland Taipan aka the Western Taipan or Fear Snake or better, a creature we all must avoid at all costs. Why? This is due to its toxicity ratings as the Inland Taipan is approximately 23 times more venomous than the Indian Cobra and an astounding 72 times more lethal than the King Cobra. To illustrate, a single Cobra bite releasing approximately 420 milligrams of venom can be fatal for around 2,600 mice. In contrast, a bite from the inland Taipan releasing only 44 milligram of venom has the potential to kill as many as 220,000 mice. Not only that, but these snakes are also known to release up to 110 milligram of venom in a single bite. That's enough to wipe out over half a million mice or almost 100 human beings. Fortunately, though the inland Taipan rarely encounters humans and prefers to stay away from us due to its shy nature. Like most animals, it won't mind defending itself when provoked. Yes, firstly, it makes a threat display by raising its forebody in a tight, low S-shaped curve with its head facing the offender. Should the offender choose to ignore the warning, the inland Taipan will strike delivering a single bite or several quick bites, releasing its neurotoxin into the bloodstream, which rapidly spreads, intensifying its danger. Soon the person will start experiencing symptoms such as headache, nausea, vomiting and abdominal pain. If the Taipan anti-venom is not given within 45 minutes of the bite, the person can experience paralysis leading to respiratory failure, which can be fatal. To know more about this in detail, please watch our video, What Does Snake's Venom Do To Your Body? Now, a natural question arises. How did the inland Taipan become the most venomous? Well, for that, we need to go back to the Jurassic era when Titanoboa hunted their prey using mechanical constrictions. These methods were suitable for the forest-rich environment of that period. But as time passed, the Earth's environment changed, eventually leading to open savannas. Now the giant snakes had no place to hide, exposing them to potential prey such as rodents or birds, who now had the advantage of open areas to escape. Therefore, these snakes had no choice but to seek new methods to immobilize and capture their prey. So over the next few million years, some species developed venom for hunting and better digestion. Different species have developed varying types of venom including alpha neurotoxins and beta neurotoxins, depending on their environment and needs. However, the inland Taipan possesses a combination of both alpha and beta neurotoxins, rendering it extremely deadly. 
the reason behind why they developed such potent venom remains unknown. It could be attributed to the challenges of catching prey in open areas or simply due to random gene mutations. However, one thing is certain, we must leave them alone. It's trivia time! Did you know the inland Taipan's color changes with the season? Yes, they become lighter in summer and darker in winter to regulate their temperature. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Thea. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind. <laughs>